Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of the Cuban Adventure. Now, in this episode, we're just gonna giving we're just gonna be giving you a little bit of a quick tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at. We're gonna give you guys some more information, some more context as to you know the beginning of our um, fun trip. We're gonna be talking a little bit more about Cuba, and then we're gonna start exploring the city and showing you guys around and bumping into a bunch of really awesome interesting people and continuing the adventure and um that's it from this moment on you know meaning from this tuesday going forward every single tuesday we're gonna have a brand new episode you know uh, exploring cuba talking about cuba we're gonna be interviewing people we're gonna be going through museums we're gonna be just you know giving you first person perspectives i'm gonna be showing you a lot and and going through a lot with you guys you know not just giving you color commentary but also showing you guys the beauty and the awesomeness that not only this trip was but the educational aspect to all this stuff the cool stuff you know what i mean the stuff that you guys are here for but anyways guys all right without further ado let's get to the rest of the show hope you guys enjoy wow 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 this is such an incredible place. I'm not talking about where we're staying. I'm talking about the city. We're in Cuba, man. This is crazy. Just a little while ago, all this was full of kids playing, doing all their, you know, playing soccer, basketball, doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, that's the capital, like the capital uh, of La Habana some construction going on over there it's a cathedral it's a park <laughs> this is incredible guys we just got here a little while ago. We just got a little bit of a little tour from the people um, that rented this place out to us. And uh, now we're gonna give you a little bit of a tour, you know? I'm gonna show you the place that we rented out. So look at this place. Not bad, huh? We got the kitchen. We're not gonna be using this kitchen for anything. Washer, all the, uh, charging my phone here. We got Wi-Fi. Now we don't have Wi-Fi. We still have to get like one of those uh, Cuban Wi-Fi card situations, but there is Wi-Fi available. We just gotta pay for it, um, like everybody else in Cuba. Um, but yeah, look at this. It's just so amazing, huh? And so we rented this place out. There's a bathroom here. You got a hallway. You got a bedroom. Pretty nice. Hallway. Another bathroom. Look at that. Taking a shower and you get to see all that outside. It, it really does feel surreal. It feels like, uh, you know, just like you're watching any other movie or film or, you know, YouTube video about Cuba or, you know, about being out here in Havana. You know, um, it, it's, it's funny because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say it correctly. In English, it's Havana. You know, in Spanish, it's La Habana. Um, so I'm just trying to... Look at this. And I know the sun's right above, right here. The sun's coming down this way, but... It's just so incredible. So, I'm sure the next question you guys are asking is, well, how much? How much are we paying for this? Well, it's uh, 200. 200 US dollars. So it came out to 200 US dollars for four nights. All right, so around 50 bucks a night for this place. And um, why did we choose this place? Well, because most places were around the same price. Some were a little cheaper, um, but uh, you know, most of them were a little cheaper around this same price. But the thing is, is that, you know, the reality is, is that you know, you, we would be living with other people. So like usually when you come out here and you rent a place or you're, you know, gonna live in one of these places, you know, you're usually living out here. It's so noisy out here. 
I'm usually living out here, you know, with um, with a family. So usually, like, uh, we would be renting this house out. And then not just renting this house out, but we would be living with the people that live in this house. So it would be, you know, we're renting a room and a house type of thing. And that's usually like how it is in Cuba. And not just that, but also, you know, the fact that like, um, you know, you get to eat dinner or they serve breakfast and it's like you're staying with the family, you know, kind of like, uh, like an exchange student type of thing. You know, that's kind of like the situation is out here. But every once in a while, you'll find a place like this. And just for, again, just like another couple more bucks, you know, about 20 more bucks, 50 more bucks, you actually get a, a place to yourself. You get privacy. And, uh, you know, as much as it, awesome as it is to like stay with the family and do all that awesome stuff, as, as awesome as all that really is, you know, sometimes you just want a little privacy, you know? I'm not, I'm not out for, you remember, I'm Cuban. So like if I was staying with another Cuban family, it's like if I was staying with my mom back home in Miami. No thanks, you know what I mean? It's great and I love it, but I'm all good. I can, you know, I can speak the language fairly well here and um, we can definitely get around here on our own. And um, again, it's really cool because downstairs, you might not be able to see it, but it seems like there's like a little restaurant there. It's like another restaurant down there. And um, again, you know, we're just like a block away from the Capitol building. And there's just so much more stuff that way. And um, it's just beautiful. It's just awesome. And I just wanted to share a little bit of um, our first day here. I'm just coming in here now because it's so loud out there. Um, but, you know, it's so, it's just so overwhelming, this whole thing. I'm going to go out there so you guys can see better. All right, because I want you guys to check out the sites. All right. But anyways, I, the whole thing out here is just so overwhelming and so interesting and so wow you know what i mean like everything is uh there's so many contradictions here it really is it's really interesting to see communism really war working in full full force and full effect and uh and just seeing everything just seeing everything from the 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 damage of uh the u.s embargo to how the people live here despite all that how the tourist tourist and the tourism is still alive and kicking how the people you know it's just so many things and i've only, I've only been here a few hours and uh you know everything from the airport to to watching the daily activities of the people out here to the people we've already met to the things that we've already done um it's been it's been very very culture shocky but um it's it's just wow you know what i mean I, I'm, I'm i'm at a loss for words you know to for lack of a better description but um i'm gonna you know put an end to this little scene here um i'm gonna see if we can uh we're gonna walk around the city a little bit more and um actually we haven't walked around the city at all yet and uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna see if we can find some rum and some cigars and uh go from there the only shock about everything so far out here more than anything else has been the sticker price the culture shock of the sticker price um the, it, it, like literally you know like that has been like the, the most um shocking thing of all you know as to where the economy here it's like if you're visiting havana it's like if you're visiting san francisco it's expensive for everything and that's about it you know what i mean like that's 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 all i can really say about that for now but obviously we'll be talking more about that now and uh, and again there's a good thing i talk about the you know uh, i talk about other countries economies i talk about world economies i talk about the dollar i talk about so many things because it's just like being out here and seeing everything and how it works out here um and how the dollar is dominant even though the dollar is non-dominant they hate the u.s dollar out here but just like everything is priced in dollars it's uh the cuc the the cuban convertible unit and um which is their you know their dollar which is what most uh, people use out here and it's just it's one for one for the dollar and it's just um it's incredible because again i just came from medida where everything over there is crazy duper crazy cheap as opposed to where i'm at now where everything is like crazy expensive you know it's like being in the u.s but not you know anyways all right guys well i'm gonna get out of here we're gonna go see if we can find some rum and see if we can find some things to do besides hang out here on the balcony all right so just beautiful no está bien rico los maní viste está riquísimo los mejores maní de aquí de la Habana a dólar, ¿no? Viste, la gente vende uno por un dólar, yo te lo vendo, mira, te di cinco por un cuatro, 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 por un cuat
Excelente. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias a ti. Está muy bueno. Está ladito. Está muy bueno. A little Cuban bake reaction. She sold us some uh, toasted nuts, which are very, very, um, you know, Cuban. Something I grew up with. Look at that. Look at the doggy. It's so cute. Yeah. Looking for food. Look at that. <laughs> So it's really good, but you could tell you could tell the taste of uh, communism. It's really um, it's really um, the, the extra ingredient that makes it taste like hunger. how beautiful I, I know it's really really hard to see you really can't see it's probably the lighting's probably terrible but I haven't been filming much or anything because it's just, just so much to like interact with and see and do and it's just kind of kind of crazy good though now the one thing I have noticed out here which you guys are never gonna notice is that there is uh, cops there's police officers and there's military officers pretty much every other block and um, it's really hard for for me to film and take pictures even though I can take all the pictures and all and can film everything I want and I can do anything I want out here I can but I just can't film them and I can't film around them and stuff so it is a little tricky and um, a little difficult so for example when I'm uh, filming um, I'm always filming non-stop but I, I, I can't be filming all the time because you know again right up ahead there's a few of them so and they, I can't be filming at them at all and so on and so forth and uh, with the with the photographs so we got music coming up now but when it comes to like the photographs and stuff like that it's uh, it's kind of hard to take photographs today at this moment because of the lighting but see look we got tourists we're gonna see people coming up to us right now that's it. So these are the famous uh, Cuban pizzas for a dollar. And it's just so interesting because like, you can't even really tell who's a tourist and who's not a tourist until they open their mouth. As soon as they open their mouth, you can tell like, oh, okay, these people are Cuban or these people are, um, you know, tourist or whatever, you know? Very interesting. But yeah, you know, there's some right in front of me right now. Like I'm literally pointing the camera the other way. Look, in fact, I'll put the camera at this little doggy. Look at this because they're right behind me. And uh, I know you can't really see them, but they're now behind me. So let me turn the camera off, all right? No, there's like some electrical panel thingy here. So much for no technology, huh? I apologize for maybe the film quality being a little off because the, the light, the sun is right behind me. There's a lot of light and there's no light. Um, there's a lot of sound. There's no sound. There's wind. There's no wind. Um, it's very, very difficult conditions at this moment in time. But this is the moment in time that we're out here doing our thing. Man. It's just so beautiful though. Look at the most beautiful thing ever right there. Mi amorcito. There's a library. There's a lot of libraries out here. A lot of bookstores. A lot of libraries. A lot of bookstores. We already went to a few. By the way, yeah, that was also really interesting. Going to a few bookstores and they had like um, revolutionary communist comics. Right now, comic books, the revolution, the, the comic, Che Guevara, the whole fucking... It was interesting, man. And they were all talking smart stuff. You know what I mean? Inside the bookstore, you know? You went to that bookstore and everybody in there... They were having like discussions about like life and politics and the direction of the human man and like so many fucking things and I'm like bro you gotta be kidding me. Really interesting. I'm not quite sure what building this is but it seems like there's uh 
like a lot of religious stuff. There's a lot of religious stuff everywhere. Look at that nice little catty cat, kitty cat. A lot of interesting stuff, that's for sure. Today is just day one. A lot of stuff to take in, a lot of overwhelming um, things to do today. But it's just, um, I don't know, I just I have to share this with you and I'm, I'm trying really hard to share it with you while at the same time trying to enjoy all the sights and uh, do double duty here. But you know, all I really want to do is just turn off these cameras and just uh, enjoy the scenes because you know, there's just nothing like it. There's nothing like being out here. You, you guys have to come out here, that's for sure. You know, it's one of those places where you know, there's a reason why it's remained this way for such a long, long, long time. It's amazing and again you know right now it's like dead you know everyone's already you know going home from school from work from what have you same as a tourist you know we're kind of like in that turnover stage before um it's party time again in a couple hours it's just um interesting and we're gonna go check out that park over there check out what they have over there the ocean is not too far away just beautiful beautiful stuff look at her oh that's a nice church that's what that was well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Now, as you guys already saw, we gave you a quick little tour of the Airbnb. We're just giving you guys some pointers, talking about a bunch of stuff. And we started exploring the city. We started showing you guys around before we ended the episode. Now, why am I making these episodes a little shorter than usual? And again, they're not short, they're around 20 minutes, but um, it's because there's a lot of content I want to share so much with you guys. And I really want to be able to um, maximize you know, these episodes as much as I can. And I want to keep you guys on your edge of your seat. Um, every single Tuesday, we're going to have a brand new upload and um, you can just um, be expecting um, this to be like a little bit of a series, meaning that you know, wherever the hell we left off today, that's we're gonna be, where we are going to be picking up next Tuesday and so on and so forth and we're gonna be seeing a lot of things you know again you know everything from museums to you know talking to you know random people on the street to seeing all kinds of cool stuff and uh, and this is gonna be really cool and really awesome I'm already having a lot of fun and enjoying um, editing all these things for you and um, I can't wait to just continue um, uploading them and seeing you guys uh, reaction and what you guys think and uh, you know continuing the conversation about not just the trip but all the things that have to do with um, Cuba and all this stuff so um, again I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode um, and um, I can't wait to show you guys next week's episode and beyond and so on and so forth and uh, you know not every episode is gonna have an intro and an outro but um, you know where you know where they um, seem appropriate I will put them in um, now next episode we're just gonna be doing a continuing the walking around we're gonna be going to a little bit of a museum interacting with some more people going out to dinner and putting an end to day one now as for day two I have over two and a half hours of footage to edit um, as far as I know for day two and we did a lot of really cool interesting things and then as for day three I got like another three hours of footage you know of museums and other stuff that we did mostly museum stuff because it was raining most of the day but regardless there's a lot of stuff you know for me to show you guys and again you know um, like I was saying to you guys I, I really do plan on doing just regular episodes like this or the other regular episodes that I do with just commentary and then you know being with, being able to use a lot of the footage that I have already recorded in order to just enhance a lot of the talking points that I do make and a lot of the episodes that I already make on a regular normal day basis now even though Tuesdays are gonna be just for the Cuba vlog um, I might be making other episodes throughout the week you know talking about Cuba and using some of this footage as well um, but as you guys already know tomorrow we do our Wednesday live streams every single Wednesday morning uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern we do Wednesday live stream talking about crypto and politics and all this other stuff on Mondays we do Monday motivation Sundays we do the weekly recap um, again and every single day we have something completely different um, so please you know if you enjoyed this channel if you enjoyed this content don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons I want to give a shout out to every one of my supporters every single one of my my fans every single one of you guys out there I again you know I, I I love you guys you guys are the best as I do this um, again because of you um, I really again you guys already know I do this because I want to do it because I love doing it but you know um, it really does help um, encourage me to do these even more um, the more positive feedback I get from you guys so it goes it's a mutual thing okay we 
we do this for each other. So, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching today's episode. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned to next Tuesday for the next Cuba episode. And uh, that's it. Stay awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Trying to get that grouper, trying to get that big ass fish. Cool. Look how beautiful it is on the other side. <laughs>